And they're off at the Elkhorn. There goes two Emmys. Two Emmys bounds right out for the lead. Channel Maker away up close in the opening strides. Tiberius Mercurius is there up on the far outside as they move on to that far turn. Two Emmys gets over next to the rail, leads it by three quarters of a length. Channel Maker goes second a length. Tiberius Mercurius is third a length and a half. Bimba's boy, then Sole Volante up on the outside, followed by another mystery who's back toward the rail. Seven lengths off the early lead. Bamba Breeze next to last, and Cullum Road is the early trailer. Two Emmys, though, is the leader, guides the field into the stretch for the first time, and two Emmys leads it by a length and a half. Channel Maker is second a half length. Here's Tiberius Mercurius, who's moving up against the rail from third to challenge for second, just a length off the lead. Further back, Sole Volante just to the outside of Bema's boy, who's back toward the rail, nearly five from the front, followed by another mystery. The opening quarter went in 25.13 seconds, the first half mile in 49.53. Further back, Bama Breeze is next to last against the rail, joined there by Cullum Road. Moving back into the turn, two Emmys continues to lead. Two Emmys, the leader by three quarters of a length. Channel Maker there and second on the outside of neck. Tiberius Mercurius is third, still hugging that rail. Looks for more running room, and now here he comes again. Tiberius Mercurius moves up the inside to challenge two Emmys for the lead. Channel Maker third up on the outside. Then a gap of three more lengths to Sole Volante, who's fourth a half length. Bemma's boy in fifth. Another mystery is in sixth. The gap of five more lengths to Cullum Road and Bama Breeze. Six furlongs, 114.05. The lead battle continues. Tiberius Mercurius against the rail. And two Emmys right alongside. Channel Maker joins them again from third. The top three in a line heading on to the far turn. Length and a half to Bema's boy, who is fourth ahead. Sole Volante is fifth. Another mystery is sixth, still nearly five lengths from the front. Here's Channel Maker with Tiberius Mercurius moving up on either side of two Emmys, who's now third. Bema's boy has to swing to the outside fourth. Another mystery moves on the extreme outside from fifth. Bama Breeze is running from sixth toward the inside. Channel Maker with the lead. Here comes Bamba Breeze up the rail. Here is Bemba's boy with another mystery, but they've all got to catch Channel Maker. And Channel Maker hangs tough. Channel Maker by two. The champ, Channel Maker, to win the Elkhorn for Luis Saez. Two minutes, 27.1 seconds. A stakes record. Keeneland's featured ninth race, the Grade 2 Elkhorn Stakes, the winner, number 5, Channel Maker. Owned by Watchtel Stable of Adam Watchtel. Owned also by Gary Barber. By R.A. Hill Stable of Raymond Day Hill III. And by Reeves Thoroughbred Racing of Dean Reeves. The trainer, Bill Mott. The jockey, Luis Saez, for his second win on the card. Channel Maker, 8-year-old gelded son of English Channel, out of in return by Horse Chestnut, bred in Ontario by Tall Oaks Farm. 12 furlongs over the firm turf, 2 minutes, 27.1 seconds, a stakes record. The Elkhorn Trophy presentation being made now by Keeneland board member and Keeneland's immediate past president, Bill Thomason, and his wife, Barbara. They present to the connections of Channel Baker. Channel Maker with all of his class setting a stakes record in the Elkhorn with this man, Luis Saez. First of all, we heard before the race that he can be a tricky horse. How tricky was he today in the Elkhorn? Yeah, he's pretty tricky, but um, we rode a couple times before and we learned a lot from him. So he used to run in the lead, but uh, we decided last time to take him a little from behind and he learned a lot from that day. So today the key was try to, you know, break and let the three go because uh, we know that was the speed in the race. So we sat right there in his shoulder and when we came to the top of the stretch, it, it was all about him. Did you want to be three wide like that? I mean, it did not appear to be an easy trip going a mile and a half with that speed that you were chasing. Yeah, we, we just tried to be, you know, um, in the clear. We tried not another guy to come, you know, close to us from outside because that's how it is. He liked to be in the clear. So, well, everything came so well and he did the job. What makes him so tricky, lastly, Luis? Well, he's, he's you know, he don't like to mistake. Sometimes when you start riding and he's, he's, He's now like, like, okay, I'm going to take off right here. He, you have to let him to decide when he's going to make his move. He's a veteran of the game. Well done on a fantastic ride here in the Elkhorn. Thank you so much. Sir. Thank you. Channel Maker, sensational in the mile and a half. Elkhorn, grade two here at Keeneland.